Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a great show coming up for you. We have David Moy from the Huffington Post. We have Kimmy Evans. And our musical guest tonight is Shane Hall. But first, ladies and gentlemen, the TEDx in San Diego is coming here in October. I don't know if you know about that, but uh, TED and TEDx talks have become a really valuable showcase of ideas. Uh, now, this year, our very own Kamakani will be doing her own TEDx talk. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kamakani to Tonight in San Diego. <laughs> So that's so exciting that you're doing your own TEDx talk. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, thanks, Jesse. I am really excited. Um, on October 22nd, I will be speaking at TEDx San Diego about the superpower of Comic-Con and what influence it's had on my life. Because Comic-Con's awesome, am I right? Comic-Con. Yeah. But the best part, the best part is it's not just me speaking, although you should definitely pay admission just for me. <laughs> that was supposed to be not a joke. Yes. Uh, I don't understand. That's dead serious. <laughs> so there are actually going to be at least a dozen other speakers and performers. And this year, for the first time, they're all going to be from San Diego. So you guys should definitely check it out. That is awesome. That sounds great. You know, um, every year, lots of people submit their ideas for this. Uh, but not everybody gets their own TEDx talk. You know, we try. Uh, this time, though, we thought that it might be fun if we could present some of these, I don't know, you want to call them failed TEDx talks, uh, in a segment that we like to call Reject TEDx. Hi, you guys. It's me, Kenzie Baker, reality superstar, rich bitch, and like so above you guys. Like on another level. I am here to talk to you guys today about likes, because like likes are like the future. And I'm here to tell you guys why I'm so much more important than you, because I have so many more likes than you. Mm, no, no, next, I think next, right? Yeah. Next, thank, it's a good try. It's, it's a good <laughs> We are taught at a very young age that the world is like this. Okay. But no, what if we take another look, a different look, a deeper look, and we can see that the education system is feeding us lies, and then we see that the world is like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk to you about the Flat Earth Society, because for some reason, we still exist. Yeah, and no, 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 thank you. Next, Next. no, thank you, Flat Earth. Flat Earth Society next. Let's, what else we got here? Everybody likes to eat. And to eat, you have to cook. But technology is changing. And because of that, the world of cooking is forever changed. I'm here to talk to you about the science behind the unconventional convection oven. Ooh, this one sounds delicious. Yeah. I'm hungry. Sounds pretty good so far. Because 450 degrees is the perfect temperature to melt cheese, but not to melt steel girders. 9-11 was an inside job. Oh. oh yeah, no. there it is. Okay, moving on. Next. Thank you. Thank you. Based on my extensive reading knowledge, I have found a shocking correlation between nuclear power and superhuman strength. For an example, I have brought some radioactive material in my right hand, and in my left, I have a live tarantula. Let's see what happens. Hey, I think he has, he's on to something uh, Next, that's Gatorade. No, next, no. Gatorade. Yeah, good try. <laughs> Magic. No, 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 no. next, no. No, next. God, no. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this one. I've been working on it my whole life. It's going to revolutionize everything. The wheel. Next. Next. The wheel. <laughs> Has anyone seen my keys? How did you get in? No, next. no, next. Get out of here. Come on. Can't come back. Hi, I'm here today. I've created a new color. You take blue and yellow, and you get blow. That, no. <laughs> That's already a color. That's called green. That's, there's a color called green already. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, then you take blue and red, and you get red. <laughs> N- uh, yeah, no, that's that's purple. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Next. Your parents must be proud. Good try. Nice crayons. Oh, here's a different person. Strange. <laughs> I'm here today to talk to you about death. We all die. We must face that eventually. Except. Maybe that's not the case. Through exciting science, through the reanimation of dead tissue, maybe we can live on. Hello, my name is Dr. Frankenstein! No. No. No, no, no. next, no, next. Please. Good try, thank you. Oh, that oh looked a lot like Keith. It wasn't, though. Yeah. I know. It was uncanny, it just was. how similar it was. It was so it was. close. It was almost like a PB version of Keith with his collar up. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, obviously, you can see it, it's really pretty hard to come up with a compelling TEDx talk. It's not for everyone. Yeah. It's not for everyone. We're looking forward to you doing it, though, uh, Comic Con. I, I can't wait to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasure to have her here. Please give it up one more time for Comic Con, everybody. <laughs> that was good. I think they all got rejected. I don't think we're going to use any of them. Yeah.